Wimp finally get to go 12 rounds and 3 minutes per round. It's long overdue. Let's talk about it. Let's start the video. Welcome back to the channel. And yes, finally, we get our first woman bout that is 12 rounds in three minutes. This is long overdue. I was saying that, and it's just, it's just funny that the first woman that's gonna do it is Amanda Serrano. Serrano, she actually, when she fought Katie Taylor, I said if she would have had X amount of more minutes left with her, she would have definitely knocked her out. Knocked her out. And I think she should have got the knot. I think she outboxed her Katie Taylor plenty times in that in that matchup. And I just kept saying, if she had another minute, she would have got her out of there. Katie Taylor, you know, she has some answers, just didn't have all of them. I think that's probably the greatest women's boxing match I've ever seen up to that point. I don't think I've seen a better one since. Where, you know, the women... For the first time, I think, were so equally skilled that it didn't look any different than a matchup between two men at that level, right? And that's the only thing that I have with Clarissa Shields, but that's for another topic for another day. But let's go back on topic. So, three minute rounds, that's very important. Um, you know, I think if this goes well, and there's no reason why it shouldn't, it should be the normal, right? It, it, it just should be that you know it should be mandated why 12 rounds why two minutes it you know you, you don't have enough time to work there you know on a 10 point must system you know it, it, it really some fighters naturally men and women just start slow and then warm up and take over in the, in the in the latter third of the round and literally take the whole round just because they figure out you know they 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 do what they have to do to get to that last third and they take over and sometimes it's not even a strategy, it's just naturally how they're built, how their styles are built, right? So Serrano is one of those people, one of those fighters that she takes that long, you know, and and and, and you know, she's not a notoriously notoriously fast starter. But she definitely works the round. You know, and and uh, I think this would be great, you know. I, I think every championship fight should be that if you're not gonna go every fight three run, three minutes you should definitely go championship uh fights at least right uh i think that should be what you do i think that'll help immensely uh you know and and serrano you know they, she just comes you know i remember her and her sister cindy serrano is also a unified former champion uh i don't think she's active anymore she's 41 years old i think now um, but really, truly, you know, this is something that I can't wait for. I want that Katie Taylor rematch. I don't think Katie Taylor wants any parts of Serrano again, and especially not at three minutes. If Serrano makes three minutes look good, Serrano might say everybody I fight is going to have to go three minutes. And if Katie Taylor, I don't think she has three minutes in her. I just don't think so. Um, it didn't look like it. It'll be interesting. Uh, you know, three minutes. I can't wait. I can't wait for that unification, uh, for that uh, undisputed defense. You know, it's, you know, Serrano, Katie Taylor, you know, well, Baumgartner now. Let's see how, what that turns out to be. But the women um, seem to be really pushing it right now. They seem to really be, you know, going forward with it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, do you think this is good for women's boxing? Do you think it's a little too soon? Or, uh, you know, a fight too late should have been done a long time ago. Let me know. Leave your comments below.